Thank you for coming, and it is a great pleasure to be here and to be able to welcome you to this event to celebrate the opening of the Fort Poor Caldecott Tunnel ahead of a schedule and under budget. This project is a true example of partnership and what we can achieve when we lock our arms around it and we commit to make it happen. While construction on this tunnel is drawing to a close, there are countless projects like it that are waiting to happen all across our country. Yes, the United States of America has the best transportation system in the world. And as President Obama and all of us at the U.S. Department of Transportation have said we are committed to ensuring that it stays that way, we want to be the best. We want to have the most efficient, safest transportation system in the world. You've heard it over and over. You're going to hear it again and again about this being on time and, uh, and under cost. And I want to salute an incredible workforce of trained, skilled, experienced construction workers who made this all possible across the trades. They were here because of our, our training programs, our apprenticeship programs, our journeyman programs uh, to lead to this generation of workers that can do this job in the manner in which they did it. I always thought of this project as sort of a coming of age for those of us who represent central Contra Costa County, and I think it is. But more than that, it's us responding to the great demand for mobility in the Bay Area, one of the most dy dynamic places and economies in the world. So we join with Alameda um, and Contra Costa in trying to make sure that this opening also binds us to everything with our neighbors to the west to make sure that we work together to make the East Bay and the Bay Area continue to make it the most dynamic place in the world to live and work. We need to make spend money and make smart investments and improve infrastructure and put people to work. When we are elected or we are public servants and we serve, the taxpayers expect us to work together for the common good. And this partnership is certainly an example of everyone understanding how to best need, meet the community needs on both the Contra Costa and the Alameda side of the Caldecott, and it's going to have a tremendous impact on the quality of life for everybody. So congratulations to all those people involved in leadership roles. This tunnel is a state-of-the-art tunnel that has tremendous amount of safety uh, 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 factors in play um, and features in play. It is second to none from a safety standpoint, and there's been a tremendous amount of work going into testing that system over the last couple of days. I want to expand on, on partnerships just briefly. First on the funding partners, this project would not have been built when it got built without the contribution from the Recovery Act and the federal government. It also would not have been built without the contribution from Contra Costa County and its voters and Measure J, which chipped in $120 million. It also would not have gotten built without the contribution from MTC and Measure 2, which chipped in $50 million. And then Proposition 1B, the state proposition that was passed in 2006, and then the contribution from Alameda County. It would not have gotten done without all the funding partners that put it together. Standing here today, seeing this new tunnel ready to open, I can only tell you on behalf of the CTC that we are happy to have a role in making this happen. <clears throat> and I know the people of Alameda and Contra Costa County are ready for relief that this project will bring to their traffic congestion. I want to thank everyone for their hard work and dedication and I look forward to working with members of both transportation ages in the future for future transportation projects that hopefully we'll have the ability to help you fund. Thank you very much. Uh, this really is a great day f for all of us. And I'd like to also add my thanks to the many men and women who built this tunnel, along with our partners in business, labor, and the media who made the construction possible. For the, for the past decade and more, MTC has identified the addition of a fourth bore of the Caldecott Tunnel as a vital regional priority. By improving the reliability, predictability, and safety of travel in the corridor between Contra Costa and Alameda counties, the new fourth bore will not only improve the quality of life for thousands of commuters each day, but will improve the competitiveness of business in the Bay Area. In 2004, 
the voters of Contra Costa County chose to invest in transportation by voting yes, and the Contra Costa Transportation Authority made a promise to those voters that we would deliver the transportation projects that they voted for in Measure J. Well, we have done that. We have delivered this project, as you know, on time and under budget. And we are very proud. You know, I think one of the things that we've heard today through and through is the commitment of partnerships. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think the commitment of partnership between Contra Costa and Alameda County has ever been greater. I have my colleagues, Federal was mentioned, uh, Amy, and, and I'll start throwing names out, Bob Taylor, Newell, um, uh, Mr. Hudson, and, and, and all these people that we work with on these various agencies. And I can tell you, we have the strongest partnership right now. I got a phone call from a guy named Tom Caldecott. I thought, this has got to be Ross Chittenden playing some kind of radio joke on me. So, true story. I asked you for a, a photograph. So, he PDFs a photograph of his grandfather cutting the ribbon. Or was it a chain? It was a ribbon, I think, on, on the first boards. And so, he wanted to be here. So, Tom Caldecott is here with his, his uh, wife, Marita, daughter, Taylor, and son, Ian. And he has a little piece of history with him, I believe, in a sack that he brought all this way. So, you want to... Why don't the family stand up and show what you have? All right, so we're a little behind schedule, so I'm not going to go into this two-hour speech. I'm just going to invite the medallion winners up by name.